I've often said that the BBC show Beautiful People is my favourite sitcom of all time, but I've never actually explained why. Until now. You're welcome. For the Unaware, The Beautiful People is a sitcom based on the memoirs of Simon Doonan, a famous window dresser from New York. It's about his life growing up gay in 60s, or 90s as it is in the show, Reading. And about his kooky, crazy family that surrounds him. And it is the funniest thing I've ever seen. It's great. It ran for two seasons in 2008 and 9, and it stars Olivia Coleman from basically everything, and Samuel Barnett, who was most recently the title character in Dirk Gently on Netflix. Now, the show itself isn't anything spectacular, it's nothing amazing, it's quite a simple family sitcom when you boil it all down. It's presented through a series of stories that the main character, Simon, is recounting from his youth. When did you first realise you was, what's the word? Gay, queer, bamba clarty. Campus Bruno. Hmm. Let me think. It was a good question. What made the boy next door as butch as a dribbling Wayne Rooney, and me as camp as a row of mauve tents? Each episode is how he got a particular thing, whether that be a vase, or a broken nose, or a posh spice doll, or a trip to the Eurovision Song Contest. Can we look! What? Back at the stage. Look, they're there. And it follows his trials and tribulations as a teenage boy. And how he looks back on it all with fondness. His best friend, the Ultra Camp, Kylie, helps him along the way. Whilst his family go about equally crazy shenanigans. I am a brilliant hairdresser. Far better than the dead beach cousin of man. I cut hair off. I cut it off. I cut it out. Cut it out! All with the help of my cutie cutie boom boom. Scissors. The sister, Ashleen sleeps around with everyone, the mum is a drunk, the dad is constantly ending up in sticky situations with their sexy neighbour, and their auntie, who isn't actually their auntie, is blind, but she can see better than her own guide dogs. It's so weird. It's so, so weird. But it's great. It's so, it's so great. Ten years later, I'm still laughing along to the same joke. I think that just goes to show how strong the writing was and how fantastic the performances are in the show. Oh, and also it's a musical. I don't know if I mentioned. It's also kind of, kind of a musical. What more could you want? And of course it wouldn't be like me if I didn't bring along some sunglasses Ooh, to hide behind. But aside from it being really funny and my love for Olivia Coleman, it was Simon's character that first drew me in to the show. And it's his character that I relate to the most. I wasn't always a slightly fey window dresser in glamorous New York. I was a slightly fey schoolboy in humdrum Reading. The show came out when I was first discovering who I was. I was going through my teenage years and learning a lot about the world. And in Beautiful People, Simon is doing the same. This show happened at a time when I was discovering my own sexuality, when I was discovering that I was gay. And so to have a character like Simon on screen, someone who was roughly my age, someone who I could quite easily relate to, was frankly remarkable. Outside of the soaps and shows like Waterloo Road, you just didn't really get gay characters on TV, let alone young gay characters. While most lads would practice their first run onto the pitch at Wembley, Kylie and I spent our breaks rehearsing for that all-important first catwalk appearance. And the show never hides away from the fact. The whole premise of the first season is Simon Zoom with his boyfriend in New York City and telling him all these fantastical stories about his childhood. And at the end of season two, spoiler alert, the young Simon in late 90s Reading gets himself a boyfriend. He comes out. I've been bullied by a boy called Jason. As you know, I'm different from the other boys at school. And also, because I'm gay. And that episode in particular, the final episode where he writes his mum a letter, I remember watching it and something inside me clicking and going, I'm not sure what this is, but somehow, I'm relating to this. Somehow, I get what he's doing. And it was the first time television, or anything, had ever done that to me. So yes, I do bang on about this show probably more than is healthy, but it's because it means so much to me. It's so weird to think of a half-hour sitcom as really having 
any sort of meaning behind it. But this little show, this little show right here that I don't think many people have heard of, meant the world to me growing up. It holds such a special place in my heart and I'm so, so glad that I found it. It's gonna be all right. But what about you, humble viewer? Who was the first character on TV that you related to? Let me know down below. I'm really interested to hear what you're gonna say. And as always, if you like this, please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up, click subscribe for more, and if you want to watch more of our videos, you can do so by clicking the links on screen now. K thanks. K bye.